This isn't going to be a setup video, guys. There's a bunch of other videos out there about it. I just want to talk about the realistic use of this. I get paid full time. I make my living not on YouTube, but actually working in the field. All those people out there that are just, you know, trying to earn their dollar, if it's realistic for you or not. But I think most importantly is for anamorphic. I'm obsessed with anamorphic. So anyways, let's get back into this. All right, guys. So I've had the pleasure of using uh, the DJI LiDAR system for the past month now. It's taken me a while to actually sit down and make this video. This is a sponsored video by DJI. They did send me all of this, but I actually previously owned the RS3 Pro and they sent me another one out. So I'm gonna give that one away. Once I hit 60,000 subs, uh, I will give away that whole setup or to like, comment, subscribe. And again, when I hit 60K subs, I'll give it away. We're gonna go over a few things on this. One, does it actually work? Two, how does it work? But yeah, so just to start off, does this work? It absolutely works. It's kind of mind blowing. So most of the times if I'm using anamorphic lenses, I usually have a full team for it. I have an operator, I have a first AC at minimum. This now gives us the opportunity to operate a gimbal with anamorphic manual cinema lenses and autofocus. But there's are times where obviously a human's input is gonna be just like better. You guys can see some of the footage here that I just recently shot just the other day. My friends randomly hit me up and they just needed some footage shot real quick. Usually if I had to go and just shoot some run and gun stuff solo, I would not bring anamorphics or anything like that. I would just do a whole autofocus setup. But now we get like cinema quality results, I would say. So I don't think the point of this is to kill out teams. That's never going to happen. Having a, a full on dedicated camera team, your final product just a million times better just because there's a person dedicated for everything. So you could focus on directing or DPing, whatever you're doing. The point of this isn't to kill teams. It's just to make everyone who's stuck on solo operating's life easier, which that's the case half the time for me. So now, how does it work? Um, one, when this first came out and I saw people setting it up, I personally felt overwhelmed watching the videos because like that looks intense. More stuff to have to uh, like handle and fatigue and uh, all that. I will say, once you get it set up, it's actually super easy. It's not as intimidating as it seems. But yeah, now let's just go into uh, how this works. Let me take off the lens cap here first. So real quick rundown on how to set this up. You see, I just swiped right, right there. Click in the settings there. You see our lens profiles are here. So whenever you get whatever lenses you're gonna use with this, once you save them in there, they're set. You'll see that it's right up here. So I'm just gonna click function. And you see, it will run through your different uh, lenses. So my C1's my c 35 millimeter. DJI did tell me, I don't know if this is exclusive or not, but they're coming out the handle that will attach to the side of your camera in some form. And you'll be able to hook up this whole system to it and it'll be able to power it and run it. And I'm hoping, they didn't really tell me anything uh, from that, but I'm hoping that there's gonna be some type of screen like there is in the back of this gimbal that shows you uh, a similar camera view and everything. But anyways, you see I'm on C1, just my first lens. I'm gonna double click. It's going to calibrate it. From there, I'm gonna click autofocus and now my autofocus is enabled. So you see if I do the flex spot, I can now change the shape on what I want to track. So you see if I track that handle, I'm gonna click that. I'm gonna click the front trigger and you see from there, it's going to track it. This works even better for face detection, which I'll show you guys here in a moment. So previously when this first came out, this was the only V you had. So once you put more of like a telephoto lens on there, this back screen wouldn't match up. And so if you're tracking a face or anything like that, the view on here would be totally different than the view that was on back of here. So the tracking would be all off. I don't know if any of that made sense. But now the latest firmware update, if you click this magnifying down here, it zooms in twice. So now when you're using a telephoto lens on here, so if I'm using the 50 or the 75 Sure millimeter, uh, it matches up way better on what's the back of the screen here. The cool little new thing that they put in on here is you're able to disable the autofocus by just tapping this button. And as long as I hold it, it deactivates the autofocus. Say I'm trying to track something with the autofocus and we're about to have trees come in between us. I can hold this down and it will disable the autofocus. And so when the subject comes back out of the trees, I'm able to just let go of that and it snaps back into the autofocus. What I'm going to do, I'm gonna have Austin start walking through these trees and I'm just gonna hold down that autofocus lock, locking off focus. All right, let's walk. So you see the trees in the foreground are blurred. <laughs> let's keep going, let's push through fast. <laughs> So obviously that shot was a little ambitious, but you guys got the point of 
what it's supposed to do. So one, the active tracking alone on top of the autofocus is just game changing. Two, that whole zoom in thing, Again, when I have the 1575, that thing helps tremendously. It's just another thing where DJI is listening to people and they're updating it. So I'm sure the more people that get this and the more uh, things that we find out or ways to push it, they're gonna either update the system or give us a firmware, who knows. That's just like two new things in the latest firmware that just makes this thing even more usable. My expectations of this isn't that it's going to be able to uh, identify objects and focus on what my brain's telling it to focus on. We got to be realistic with the expectations on this. And I, I would say about 75% of the things that I, I personally need to shoot, this is going to do. Give you guys a quick thing. I already know a bunch of people are going to ask how I got the battery below here. This is the Tilta battery plate. I will put links to all of my whole setup. Uh, in the description. You take the bottom plate out and you switch it out with the tilt to one. You put a V mount into there and I could then run the USB-C or D tap into the R5C because we all know the battery on the R5C is horrible. That's my only gripe with this camera. I wish I could just run it without a V mount, but it is what it is. So again, there's, uh, there's one guy on here. I'll link to him in the description. He's covered the LiDAR system very well. Uh, he was the one that got me the most interested in this. So uh, I will link to him because he shows you an a, a in-depth way of how to set it up and ways to run it without a gimbal and all that. So um, for me, this thing just works. This LiDAR system at night uh, is just like, it worked just as good as it did in the daytime. It's kind of wild. But just the fact that I'm able to use anamorphic lenses by myself now with the gimbal. Uh, and then when their handle thing comes out, I'll be able to use it just handheld. For anyone, again, who's who makes money solo operating and you're wondering if you need this, if you're wondering if it's a gimmick or uh, if it works or not, it works, it's not a gimmick. Uh, even I was intimidated and I was like, ah, I bet it doesn't work that great. Now that I've used it, I'm like, okay, like it actually is pretty freaking solid. So I'll probably be using a gimbal a lot more by myself. I, everyone who works with me knows I despise gimbals, but this RS3 Pro from the way it walks, just how well it works, all the weight I'm able to bounce on it, but now the LiDAR system on it, I'm now not as, um, I want to say, I'll be honest, part lazy and intimidated about using it when I'm trying to just do stuff for myself. So you guys just make your life easier forever innovating. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. I'm sure I will probably be doing an update video on this because this thing's just like wild. I'm going to be using it on some crazy cool things that's coming up that I'm about to start filming. Uh, some uh, indigenous cowboy documentary stuff. So um, yeah, I'll share some of that footage here as soon as I'm allowed to. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Peace.